Hey everybody, before we get started, quick update on Gary Sanchez. He is officially out with the flu. He's been diagnosed. Hey, at least he caught something. So today is a day that a lot of us Yankees fans have been looking forward to. Davey Garcia making his televised spring training debut for the Yankees. And he's a candidate to get the five spot in the rotation. If I were a betting man, I would say it's most likely to go to Clark Schmidt, maybe Michael King. But a good start from Devi Garcia could help his chances. A couple of quick notes before we get into Devi. So John Carlos Stanton is up to 85% of his own body weight on the anti-gravity treadmill. That means he's almost ready to resume baseball activities on Earth where there is gravity. So that's good. I'm just kidding. He was actually out on the field taking BP this morning and actually hit an opposite field home run against Zach Britton. It was not all good news, though. Zach Britton was apparently hit with a line drive during that same batting practice session on the right wrist. That is his non-throwing wrist. He has been sent for tests, and hopefully I'll have an update uh, in my post-game comments. Also, Jordan Montgomery pitched very, very well yesterday. The number four man in the rotation had four perfect innings, 12 up, 12 down, no walks, no hits, five strikeouts. Fastball was 93-94, good curveball, good straight changeup. He could be a sleeper pick for comeback player of the year. All right, so we just got the lineup posted for today's game. Mike Talkman leading off in center field. Gio Urshela at third base. Mike Ford getting a lot of at-bats. He's at first base. He's looked good both offensively and on defense. Miguel Andujar back in left field. Clint Frazier, defensive whiz in right field. Kyle Higashioka at DH. Chris Iannetta catching. Tyler Wade at shortstop. And Tyro Estrada at second base. And on the mound, Devi Garcia. I'm actually recording a podcast episode, not one of these typical on-camera podcasts, but an audio version of my podcast available on all of the platforms about Debbie Garcia today. So I'll talk a bit more about him. He's great. He's got a fastball, 96 to 98, deadly overhand curveball. He's one of the Yankees' top prospects. On some lists, he's ahead of Clark Schmidt. On some lists, he's behind Clark Schmidt. He's only thrown four innings this spring, so I doubt he's going to win the number five job, but he could be a guy that we see rather soon. Interesting that he's throwing to Chris Iannetta, who will likely start the season in AAA for the Yankees. I'm going to watch the game. The next thing you'll see is the highlights, and we'll go from there.
so sorry for the music if that wasn't your taste. Uh, I had no audio for the broadcast, so I had to use some non-copyrighted music. So Davey Garcia was good. He showed some electric stuff. Uh, one thing that stood out to me is how well he hides the ball in his delivery, both in the windup and from the stretch. One downside of turning that much in your windup is that it can cause you to throw across your body, which is both harmful to the shoulder and can cause you to miss up and to the arm side, which he did several times. He also blew some guys away and he showed a good curveball. I did notice that a lot of times they were laying off the curveball because maybe he was throwing it too slow. He did throw some good hard ones, but he also had some slow ones that seemed almost like an eat this pitch. Hopefully pitching coach Matt Blake can help him develop some ways to effectively spin the ball at the major league level. They didn't have a radar gun on him, so I don't know how hard he was throwing. I didn't find any pitch effects for this game. Looks like he was throwing pretty hard, though, because guys were swinging through the fastball or fouling it back or hitting pop-ups, which means they were late. So good velocity from uh, Debbie Garcia. To me, I mean, I know that he gave up a couple of runs, but he was mostly electric. I mean, his stuff was very good. He was around the zone. His fastball is a little straighter than I would like, uh, but it's mostly because he throws directly over the top and has kind of a whip action. Uh, so I would look for him to maybe work on a two-seamer that's maybe not as hard, maybe like 91, 92, but has a bit more sink or action to it. Um, but his curveball was good, if at times too slow. So I don't know if he did enough this time around to win the spot, but he's definitely going to be in the conversation if they need a starter from the minor leagues. Uh, other news. Zach Britton's uh, x-rays came back negative. He's got a bruise on his right wrist, his non-throwing wrist, so he should be fine. And it sounds like James Paxton could be back earlier than we thought. He was playing catch, and he said the best-case scenario is mid-May. He'll be back making starts in the big league. So got that to look forward to. All right, thanks for tuning in. If this was your first time here, I want to thank you for stopping by. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It helps other fans find the channel. I plan to do recaps and discussion of every game all season long. I've also got a weekly podcast, and I'm putting together a documentary at the end of the season. Send me your reactions at NYY Recaps on Twitter to be a part of the film. I try to reply to all comments as long as you're not being a jerk. So go ahead and leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of this game and your thoughts on the team, and I'll see you next time.